Hey everybody, Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and I got a good one for you here today. We have the Knight Brother, which is Darth Maul's Mandalorian Gauntlet Starfighter, from Timmy, aka Republic Bricks, who sent me this for free to review on the channel. If you guys do end up buying anything from his website, make sure you use code MNR to save 5% and support the channel in doing so. Anyway, this is, of course, a custom set, which will probably come with all the quirks of being custom. It has 426 pieces, and currently on the website is just $90, which seems pretty fair for a custom version of a Mando fighter when Legos retails for $60. Of course, you get minifigs with the Lego version and no minifigs with this version, but that's custom sets for you. There's a QR code included in the set that allows you to access the instructions online. So we got everything in here. It is not organized by color, but that's not a big deal here because there's only basically red, black, and gray. And this is a good example, this is a review, and so I point out the good and the bad, and one of the bad things about custom sets, especially with Republic Bricks at times, is they can include used parts. And that typically doesn't matter for pieces that are gonna be on the inside of the build, but for panels like these, which are gonna be outward facing, it becomes a bit of a bigger issue. But there's definitely places where I feel like Timmy could improve his quality control with some of these. I know it's not that expensive to swap some of these out. It's should be noted that those are just examples of the bad there are plenty examples of the good throughout what I can see in this pile of parts with lots of new pieces but yeah definitely the bad ones can stick out anyway I'm gonna build this up and we'll take a look at that finished model should be pretty hot so here's our finished model and it looks really good I did have one issue where I was missing the proper red color pieces but I did have black ones so this should be a red stripe wrapping all around the fuselage of the ship here but it's not and that definitely takes away from what could have been a much better looking ship there but other than that I wasn't missing anything or anything it, obviously the used pieces are gonna happen it's a custom set and it's pretty upfront about potentially having used parts but aside from that let's talk about the design of this thing and we will compare it to the other Mandalorian fighters here in a minute but I, I wanted to show it on its own first it is very similar to that 2012 Mando Starfighter though but it does have landing gear at the front which is nice I don't believe that the Mandalorian fighters actually are supposed to have landing gear technically in universe but it does help it a lot for the display because otherwise it would be leaning down on the ground like this and that just looks I mean to be quite frank terrible so having this to prop it up makes it look way better for if you want to display this thing got that nice red and black color scheme on the side of the wings and same for the top of the wings there it looks very nice with the red and the black and a little bit of dark gray mixed in here near the top on the back of the ship here we just have this round piece which can actually spin but doesn't actually do anything there's no rear turret which is something that you see on the other mando fighters we'll be taking a look at but it does its job as far as the cockpit goes that's where you can place a figure if you do get a minifigure to place within you can just open it very easily cockpit looks pretty clean there and inside you won't find any control panel or anything but you will find a nice tile bottom where you can actually fit two minifigs in here pilot and kind of a co-pilot or passenger whatever you want to do and the other good thing about this design is the minimized gap between the cockpit and the main body of the ship. So you don't have a lot of open air kind of going through there, which is a problem on the newer Mando fighter. You can drop the wings down like so, and you can have it in flight mode and the whole body of the ship turns as you please. You can just turn it with your hand and it ends up looking pretty nice in the hand, very swooshable. It's a nice play set, essentially. Speaking of play features, there's a small hatch in the back where you actually have something inside. You can actually pull up on this and there is the small box in here and God knows I won't be able to get it out, but there is a box in here that a crate that's supposed to store things. But you know, like I said, this is not really made Made for that. I don't know how many people are buying this and then are going to end up using it as a playset and storing things and taking out. Like, I feel like it's something a six year old would do, and I don't know if a six year old is actually going to own this. I highly doubt it. I, I do wish with some of these sets from Republic Bricks, and this is a good example, that they would go the extra step. When Lego's going out and designing this, right? And this is obviously a very derivative design minus the color and it's actually not, doesn't have like the same turrets and stuff on front it's it's a little bit more different than i had thought but it is still very similar like lego has to and, and timmy does this with a lot of sets let's be fair here like the venator and the mtt there are definitely good examples where they take the liberties to make it even better but i feel like 
this design could be even more souped up compared to this to make it a better display piece. Because in my mind, at least for me, I mean, this is something I'm putting on the shelf. You know, this is something Lego is at some level, you know, as much as we like to buy it and display it, Lego is still marketing this at some level for kids and they are gonna play with it. So you have to have that in mind as well. But with this, you don't have to think about that at all. So I do feel like there's some missed opportunity sometimes. Now, there are other times where that opportunity is not missed and it's taken full advantage of. But yeah, I just thought that was worth saying here. It is pretty cool to see it between the other two Mando Starfighters from Lego, of course, the newer summer 2021 version and the old 2012 version. But you can see the design, of course, is still going to be similar. It's still the same ship. So, of course, they're going to look somewhat similar. But I feel like it's still unique enough to call its own and not a direct rip of the 2012 version. And here it is next to the other two in the landed position. I think you get a much better idea of why I say that critique of the Mando fighter without the landing gears because it leans down and forward. Now, they did change the design on this one so that it wouldn't be as drastic as it would be on these ones. So on this one, if you put the landing gear up, you can see it just goes straight down. It looks much worse than it does here, but it still is not preferable, I think, to the straight look when you have the landing gear down like that. I just think it looks so much better, especially when you're gonna have it on display and that's what most people buying this are gonna be buying it for. So it's fine either way really but preferably landing gear and it is bigger than that summer 2021 version so if you're going to be buying one of these which one should you buy because i think you have three very distinct options here on the table you have the 2012 classic which is by far going to cost you the most money this is a very expensive set on the secondary market especially if you're going to buy it new in box like 300 just not cheap with the figures too the figures are expensive with this one with that pre -vizla. so that one can be very expensive but it is a classic so there are there's a market of people that are going to prefer this over the others and i can see that i like that one a lot it's just when you're comparing it price wise and you're looking at spending two to three times as much money it's it's tough to to look at evenly but that being said you look at this one it's still going to be almost twice as much as that depending on if you can get it on sale or with a discount code code mnr but as of the current sale at 90 dollars, it's still 30 dollars more expensive than the current lego version which still includes three minifigures with Bo-Katan, a Mandalorian, and that wonderful Gar Saxon figure, which would actually go pretty well with that set color scheme wise. But like you can see where the value of the actual Lego set comes in. And that's where custom companies can't compete. You just can't offer three unique, good looking figures like Lego can in a set like this in a set like this at the price. If Timmy was offering that or any custom company for that matter, obviously, I would wager this quickly becomes very close to $200. So that would price a lot of people out, obviously. But I think for most people, the Lego option is gonna be better just because it's so much cheaper than either of these options. In most cases, again, pending a sale or whatever, but really the value with the Lego one to me is those three minifigs. I think that that's where the killing is made there. Now there is a case to be made, of course, you know, personal preferences can certainly overrule everything here. And if you like black and red on a Mando Starfighter, this is your option for dope looking black and red Mando Starfighter. You get one for 90 bucks or whatever, and it's actually not that bad. So I could definitely see a portion of people wanting to do that. Maybe there's a portion of people that think it goes well with Darth Vader and his Royal Guards, but obviously even better if you're like a Darth Maul collector and you got that Darth Maul bust, it could just all go well together so there's certainly a lot of options there for people to make up their minds on and either way you can check out my affiliate link for that for amazon in the description and of course uh, republicbricks.com code mnr all in all this is a pretty good custom set from republic bricks i don't think it's the best one you can get even at the price of 90 dollars. i think it's competitively priced certainly for a custom set compared to the lego ones you certainly can make a case for it especially if you like the red and black i mean there's no reason to go out and buy it if you don't like it certainly but for those that do i think you're getting a pretty fair deal. Used parts and the two missing colors that were swapped for black for some reason I think take away from it just a little bit for me but nonetheless it, it ended up being a pretty good experience I would say for for my taste in custom models. It definitely doesn't compare to the Lego sets when you compare it to the original pricing. I mean you just can't compete with Lego pricing but it's still pretty dope looking and will make a nice addition to your Mandalorian fighter collection if you're going for that or it could be a nice standalone set with your Darth Maul collection. You know there's a lot of options there so let me know what you guys think of it in the comments section below if you knew the channel you can subscribe with the big red button if you enjoyed hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one peace out <laughs>